All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, John R. Nelson Gymnasium. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV4. This is Chris Stevens along with Colton Miller and special guest tonight, Mr. Brett Barrett, former basketball coach, current principal at Culver Community Middle High School. Welcome, Mr. Mr. Barrett. Good evening. Looking forward to some uh, good action, nice backdoor rivalry between Winnemac and Culver. A lot of history, obviously, over the years with a usually pretty good basketball. So looking for some intense matchup tonight. Yeah, we have a similar, you know, uh, I think both teams are in similar situations with Culver 1-5 and, and and Winnemac coming in 0-4. Oh I believe both looking for their first HNAC, uh, HNAC victory. Uh, Mr. Lowry has just read the sportsmanship statement, and he's getting ready to play the anthem. So we will uh, just let you listen in on that. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We will get ready for intros here. We'll just kind of uh, we'll just kind of reiterate what Mr. Lowry says there, and if we have any other any other thoughts. Looking uh, through the stands there, I see across the way uh, legendary coach uh, Jack Edison over there. Absolutely, obviously absolutely. doing a little bit of recruiting for uh, for Mike. Yeah, absolutely, spotted him right away, and you know, if you want to gain some knowledge about basketball, go sit right next to that man, and he will give you a good book. Warriors being introduced here um, under Coach Hugler. Is that is that how you say that it? That is right? correct. Coach yep. Hugler, what his second or third year? This is his second year, I believe. Second year. Uh, his second stint, just as well. Um, when I was coaching basketball, he was the head coach for Winnemac, just as well. So second oh, okay. stint. Okay. And has he always been at Winnemac, or did he? He has. Um, in between his, uh, I guess, two stints, he was an assistant coach at uh, Culver Academy uh, for a little bit and helped out there and then went back to Winnemac. Um, obviously, his kids go to Winnemac High School just as well, so he's been there teaching, doing that. Starters for the Cavaliers, Braxton uh, Conley, Hunter Manns, Owen Klinger, Owen Valaquet, and Donovan Ziaja. Cavaliers coached, as Mr. Lowry just said, uh, Coach James Hafley, his first year here at Culver. Coming in from Holy, or not Holy Cross, uh, coming in from uh, Howe Military. Howe Military, yeah. that is correct. Yeah, you look down uh, Winnemac's roster a little bit, you start to see some Winnemac names. you got the Larkins, the Foxes, yep. the Comptons, so the Brants. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice Winnemac tradition names coming through right now. Absolutely. Man, I could try. You're Looks on. like we got Ziaja yep. jumping against Kiefer to start us off. Tip goes to Winnemac. Obviously, Winnemac is probably going to be looking for Larkin to score most of their heavy load tonight. Yeah, according to what little research I've done this year, it seems like they are leaning on him. Nice little set back screen. Great job by the Culver defense clamping down. 
on Bennett and uh, causing a turnover. So Cavalier basketball out of bounds. And looks like Winamax coming out to man-to-man -man defense. Covering their typical spread, read, and react. A uh, lot of cuts. You'll see a lot of motion that way. And we start the game off with one turnover each. Turnover, turnover, and now back to Winnemac ball. Yeah, Winnemac JV seem to be in a zone most of the night, some type of pressure zone. Yeah, their they're JV did a nice job. They're physical mm -hmm. and strong yep. and did a great job. Like the same set, double screen for Larkin this time. I know talking to Winnemac a little bit, they talked about they're trying to get more kids involved besides just Larkin right now, so it'll be interesting right. to see who steps up for them. And it looks like Trent Fox takes it to the hole and gets fouled. And that goes against Hunter Manns, his first, team's first. And Fox will go to the line to shoot two. Oh my goodness. Is that a five bouncer? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like five bounces on the rim and goes in. The ref kind of did a little stare up there. Like, did that really just happen? <laughs> nice dramatic way to get on the board, draw first blood. Second free throw on the way. A little bit better that time. Nothing but net going through. So, looks like they're going back to half court man-to-man -man defense. Nice backdoor cut by Owen. And one. nice job. Good pass by Hunter Manns. Nice setup with the back cut. Good finish. Yep. Foul's going to be cold on Kiefer. I do believe. Yep. I thought Owen played pretty well against Knox, too, on Saturday. Had a really good game um, offensively, was within himself. So hopefully he can continue that tonight. Good. I didn't make it to that game. I was getting quarterly reports from Carter. Nice job, nice take there by uh, Fox to the hole. Yep. Too easy. Yeah, it was. Try to clamp a little late. Good idea. Obviously, uh, Ziaja trying to pass to Klingler. Tipped off of Klingler out of bounds, Winnemac basketball. See, Winnemac's been pretty set heavy so far tonight. We'll see if they continue with that. Looks like a little one for low for Larkin. I don't know if we're going to be seeing that much tonight where, you know, pull back air ball three from him because he, well, he's pretty smooth. I was going to say over the years, uh, he's going to keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to keep going yeah. up. Yeah, and they will fall. <laughs> if not, it'll be a, a lucky night for the Cavaliers. Absolutely. Looks like we start in a box set there to yep. start our motion offense. Braxton uh, Conley of it. Nice backdoor cut to Owen Balaquet. Mm. Nice job. Good job trying to take it up strong. Yep. Getting the foul, go to the free throw line. And obviously, uh, when you struggle offensively, sometimes like we have this year, getting the free throw line will be absolutely pay dividends for us. And and it definitely seemed like Valaquet uh, saw out the contact there. He had the left, left side of the lane open, but wanted to uh, go to his strong arm and try to face that contact. First free throw up and good. Um, yeah, it's almost like what you said. He needs to be aggressive tonight. Against Knox, he had some opportunities where he didn't shoot the ball and probably should have. Uh, being a senior leader who's played varsity basketball for three years, he needs to make sure he stepped up. Yep. Good job by Owen there hitting the second one. So we're back in our traditional man-to-man. -man. Looks like Winamax is going to the flex offense a little bit, a little back screen, down screen action, see how we handle this. Oh. Got away with Got maybe away a little with walk. A little walk there. Nice little jump shot in the lane. 15 footer good by number five for them, Bennett. Cavaliers back on the attack. Getting a little bit more back screen action. Looks like Ziaja is sitting the post up a little bit just as well. Ziaja tries to attack the bucket and uh, picks up a foul, so it'll be baseline out of bounds for the Cavaliers. Ball inbounds to Hunter Manns. Hunter Manns a little floater. Not bad. Taking it to the hole. Be nice made jump stop shot fake there, but it draws the foul, which yep. is good. Going to the line shooting two. Cavalier foul number 15, Braxton. Oh. 
Over. Okay, so that was not on the shot. It looks like they called a double foul. Which will go to a jump ball situation, which is obviously our possession, so we'll have it back out of bounds again. I didn't see that. I don't know what happened there. I didn't either. I was watching Hunter on the attack. Kind of saw Braxton's arms fly up, but I didn't think it was because of him. Now there it is again, bodying up again. Ooh. Oh, almost got a good catch by Hunter Manns. Larkin on the steal on the attack. Oh, nice job by Owen Klingler. Coming back in, clamping down, ball out of bounds. Underneath the baseline, winning back basketball. Larkin will trigger it in, box set. A little pick-to-picker action. Nice job by Culver to handle it. Ooh. Bennett, nice, nice move by Bennett. Doesn't go. Out to Culver. With 5-10 remaining, we'll see if we can get a bucket here. Looks like we're running a set here. Oh, nope. 1-3-1 one, one defense. Switch up at the defense against for Winnemac. So a lot of that 1-3-1 one, one in the JV game. Typically against the 1-3-1, one, one, you're going to get your corner shots. We'll see if we can take advantage of them. There we are. Good move. Nice mm -hmm. job. Owen Klinger, way to attack the bucket, draw on the foul. Not allowing much contact tonight, which is no, fine. Yeah. As long as they establish that and remain consistent on both sides. I think that would benefit us. Yeah, you know, attacking the absolutely. Because where we're struggling to score at times, it's a great way to get some points on the board. Winnemac has five team fouls, which will hopefully bode well for us the rest of the quarter just as well. Owen Klinger hits the first one. We'll get the second one. Looks like number 22, Shane May, comes in the game for the Warriors. Six foot one senior. Second one doesn't go, Larkin with the rebound, and here comes the Warriors. Little UCLA screen, ball screen action from Winnemac. Number four hits on the three, good board by Ziaja. Looks like Winnemac is staying in the 1-3-1, one, one. a little bit softer. Nice pass, good finish by Braxton Conley. Those are good looks. If you can keep moving the ball like that and getting that ball in the paint against the one through one Absolutely. some good things will happen. Looks like Winamax going back to the ball screen and roll. Larkin this time, no good again. Nice hustle by May. Gets it to Bennett. Bennett a little off the glass. Good. You know, just can't afford second and third time opportunities. Valaquette did a good job of boxing out the shooter, but then somebody came from the other side of the court. Always seems to do that. You get four guys doing a great job boxing out, you miss that one. Nice pass by Ziaja. Again. Going up strong, they're calling the fouls right yep. now, so keep attacking. So we're going to have Braxton Conley going to the line shooting two. I think this, you know, can help his confidence tremendously here. If he can get some free throws underneath his belt, he's not um, offensive-minded. He's more the defensive guy for us. So if he can score, that's a huge benefit, right. as he did just there hitting that first one. And already got a bucket under his belt, right? Yeah, absolutely. So great start for him. He uh, got the luck of drawing um, the McIntyre, Cole McIntyre, against uh, the Knox the game. Up. So, but did a great job defensively. Second one doesn't go. Larkin on the attack for the Warriors. Again, it looks like they're going to that ball screen and roll action a lot for Larkin right now. Nice attack. Again, doesn't finish though, and foul on Larkin, which should put us at the free throw line. So, wow, not a bad job playing defense. Obviously, he's pretty smooth and he's going to attack. But uh, better yet, missed the shot and got the box out. I didn't get to see who was, uh, is that Valaquette going to go to the line? Should be. Wow. Yes. 3.32 and then uh, single bonus. Very good sign for us if we get, again, keep pressure on them offensively, keep attacking and get to that free throw line. Usually that uh, good things will start happening for us. First one up is good by Valaquette, so he'll earn his second one. A little bit of shooter's touch there. So Russell Compton comes in, who played a, a touch of JV. He's a sophomore, come in. He's a strong player on the JV, and we'll see what he could do on the varsity level. Balaquet hits the second one. Braden Lynch on the bringing it up this time. Looks like Larkin is out getting a breather just as well, so this might be a good time to take advantage. Yeah, what? he's got a two. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. 
Winamac running the flex. Corner three by May. Good. Big three for them. Maybe give them a little bit of life. So let's see what we can get from here. They are going back to the man-to-man -man defense this time down the floor. Good cut by Ziaj. Good find by Klingler. Double teamed. Balaquet comes up with it. Nice job by Owen. Nice job penetrating and kicking, but got to get a good pass so we get a shot just like that. Yep. That was we better. We can live with that shot. Absolutely. Good job by Braxton Conley. Nice hustle by Braxton. Get picking up that offensive rebound. And he's going to go to the line, and it looks like there's a good, good opportunity for us being the double bonus by the end of the first quarter at this rate, most certainly. Yeah, and the nice thing is, uh, you know, over the last probably three or four games, it seems like our boys are getting a little bit more confident on the offensive side of knowing what uh, Coach Hafley wants, uh, when he wants to attack, how he wants them to attack. So being aggressive right now is a very good sign for us. Conley up with the shot, misses the one and one. May with the rebound, brings on up for the Warriors. Good defense by Jalen King. Looks like they're running their little X cut going on. Nope, their chin series. JV did a pretty good job with that from Winnemac. Culver defense playing pretty solid right now. Not giving up paint, not giving up lanes. As soon as I speak it, Got it happens. Split. Got split, <laughs> coach. Yep, as soon as I say it, it happened. Nice shot by May for the Warriors attacking the paint and actually finishing. That was a pretty tough shot, so yep. did a good job there. And May is one that I've read that they're looking to uh, carry some weight on their shoulders offensively. And, and here's a good time for him. When you have your best yep. player out on the bench, he's going to have to step up if Winnemac wants to obviously keep pace where they're at. See how we respond. Minute 50 on the clock. Let's get a good possession here. Back screen for Conley. Nice cut. One thing we have done very well is staying patient, looking for the right opportunities. Mm -hmm. Try to put the ball down in traffic, which you probably shouldn't do. May comes up with an attack in. Little Euro step. Called a foul on the ground. I believe that's going to be on Hunter Manns, which is going to be his second foul. So that is his second. Be Winnemac Warriors baseline out of bounds. Owen Klingler comes in for Hunter. Box set. Looks like it's going to be probably step in screen for May. Step in screen down the gut. Little fadeaway shot by May. Oh, look good. Yeah, nice form on him. Good rebound by Ziaja, pushing the ball. Swings it to Conley. Back to him, this little give and go. Nice job. Take it up strong. Make the officials make that adjustment. 19 fouls, as you talked about. We are going to be probably in the double bonus by the end of the first quarter, which will be very good for us. This is going to put Coach Hugler in a pretty good spot. Now he has Bennett with two fouls, and he's going to say, what are we going to do? <laughs> Ziaja hits the first one, earns the second. That one is good as well. So it should be 12 to 13. See if Mr. Weldon fixed it. There you go, Trevor. So 12 to 13, Winnemac Warriors, Warrior ball. Same set they ran in JV a little bit, getting their big guy involved. Nice pass fake by May. Shot fake by Bennett. Nice attack. Surprised they didn't get I'm that call there. They yeah, not. they've been I calling agree. that one. Good left hand finish by Bennett. Imagine uh, Coach Hugler's asking the same thing. It's the same thing down there. Looks like 2 3 zone now for Winnemac Warriors. Probably trying to obviously not foul one and uh, protect uh, Bennett since he has two fouls as well. And it looks like we might be holding it for one. We struggled a little bit against Knox as we had uh, two opportunities at the last second quarter and uh, turned over one time and actually had an ill advised shot on another. So hopefully we can see if we can execute a little bit better down the quarter stretch here. Their pistol is a little handoff action. Normally that's going to be coming. A little flare ball screen mm. action. Yep, same, same thing kind of happened against Knox. Turnover. Little runner by Bennett, no good. Not a bad first quarter. End of first quarter, Winnemac 15, Culver 12. Okay, uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in a minute.
Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to John R. Nelson Gymnasium after one. Winnemac 15, Culver 12. The Winnemac ball to start the second quarter. Looks like we're going to have Valaquet, Klingler, Conley, Ziaja, and King in the lineup for the Cavaliers. Man-to-man -man defense. Uh, get to see Mr. Larkins on the bench for the Warriors. That's a good sign for us. Ball screen roll with May. Gets it out to Bennett. May trying to direct some traffic and get some cuts going for the Warriors. Now the ball screen and roll. Nice job by Owen Klingler shutting off the baseline. May for a three. Good. It was a good high hand closeout. I mean, he had two hands up. Yeah, he's pretty smooth. I yeah. mean, for a second scorer, they definitely need to start looking towards him. Winamac back in a 2-3 zone again. King attacking. It's probably going to take away our cuts a little bit. We'll see how we adjust to the 2-3 zone. Looks like we're kind of hanging in the middle with our cuts now. Basset cut and hang in the middle and see what you get. Good cut by Kylie. Nice find. Again, Jalen's trying to catch and dribble right catch away. Catch and dribble. That's two turnovers in a row. He's going to have to learn, catch, look, see what's there. Square up to the basket. Warrior ball, number four, Lynch bringing it up. See if they run the same set up here. It looks like they are in the same set. We're going to get some scissor cut action and with followed up at the ball screen. Here comes the ball screen and roll. Nice shot by Conley. Warriors swing the ball, get that same action. Looks ball like we're just switching it. Yep. Oh, called a legal screen that time on May. Mm -hmm. Again, officials are very quick to blow that whistle tonight, so as long as we adjust to it, which yeah. we're doing a pretty good job right now. It's 10 team fouls on them, so obviously any common foul will put us on the double bonus. I tell you, I like that style. It makes you play basketball, you know. Yeah. Physicality is a part of the sport. But yes, it is. See how it goes with uh, not playing with your hands, which is a good thing in defense to teach. Mm. Got away with the pass there. Ziaj in the corner, finds Balaquet underneath. Again, again, putting that ball down on the floor. Hey. Got bailed out. Absolutely. So Kevlar ball underneath the basket. We'll see if Winamax stays in their 2-3 zone. They are not. They're going to their man-to-man -man on the out-of-bounds play. Lack of movement. A little X cut by the Cavaliers. Ball inbounds to Valaquit. See if we can take advantage of them being back in man. A little pushback step by Klingler. Nice backdoor mm. cut. Just need to execute a pass. But good backdoor cut. Good look by Ziaja. Execute the pass. Could be for a layup. So Cavalier ball out-of-bounds again. This time it looks like Warriors staying in 2-3 zone this time. Mm. Ball inbounds. Braxton Conley has the ball up top. Looking in the middle. Again, looks like we're going to do some, some cuts and hang in the middle. Little vice pass stolen by the Warriors by May. On the transition break. Off the knee of King. Nice job. Picks it up to Braxton. Gets it to Ziaja. Here come the Cavaliers. Turnover Warriors. We're going to figure out something here to get a decent shot against this 2-3. Yeah, we're stuck on 12 here for a little bit. Okay, hey, good job. Get the ball in there. Be strong. Let him foul you. See what happens. So Ziaja will go to the free throw line to shoot two. It looks like Hunter Manns is going to re-enter the game. He has two fouls, so he needs to be make sure he's uh, not going to pick up that third foul. Ziaja up, hits the first one's good. Cut that lead to five at this time with 5.43 on the clock. She has a second attempt, up and good. Nice job by Donovan to execute both of those. We really need to probably get a cut into this lead or at least get a two, three point lead because obviously when they don't have their best player on the floor, Correct. there's a time for us, we got to get up. All right, little five second call. Nice yep. defense by uh, Valaquet. 
All right. And they're rolling the dice. Yes, they are, and here he comes. See what kind of, if they stay in that 2-3 zone to protect him, which I imagine they will. See if we can uh, attack him at times to try to pick up that third foul. All right, Coach calling out 32 shallow smash. Let's see what that looks like. Ball getting reversed side to side for the Cavaliers. Not a bad job. There you go. Hit the low post. Good cut by Braxton Conley. Mm. Nice try to finish. Got, got away, away with, with an over pack there. May brings it up the floor for the Warriors. Looking to attack. Pulls up jump shot. Good. Okay, he's, he's pretty smooth. Yep. He definitely needs to be looking for that basketball right, right. now. Warriors back in a 2-3 zone. Have a six-point lead. See if uh, Cavaliers can get a score here. Skip pass to Braxton Conley. Jalen King looks to attack. Got away with No, he did not. Travels with it. Three possessions for Jalen, three turnovers. Something that he's going to have to fix if he probably wants to stay in the basketball game right now. And Coach Hafley would love to talk about it. Hey, they're going to take a timeout. We will take it with them. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Welcome back to John R. Nelson. Uh, Cavaliers take a 30 second time out there. Winnemac up by six. Cavaliers in the double bonus with 442 remaining in the second period. Looks like we're uh, picking up full court press with only three fouls. Four minutes left in the half. You have a chance to gamble a little bit. Maybe create some turnovers into offense for us. Ball gets back to Larkin and a clear out. Let me dribble it up the floor by myself, they say. Little scissor action off of May. Down screen for Larkin. Shot fake, maybe traveled, maybe a little bit. Hard to tell. Short. Little handoff short from May. Did not Rebound. seal the box out. Larkin for three, no good. May and Ziaja battling for the ball. May strips it from him. Gets it out the pass in the lane to Bennett. Bennett puts it up. No good. Ziaja with rebound. Good defense there. Standing straight up. Don't commit the foul. We need to take advantage of his. Larkin's having an off night so far. Yeah, so we does. definitely need to take advantage of this situation. Maybe see a freeze dribble on his side, you know, every now and then. And Absolutely. try to get a split. Try to draw a foul. Yeah, because I would imagine he's not going to be very aggressive defensively. There you go, Jalen. Not put the ball down on the floor. Very good job. Cut. Catch the ball, finish. Nice job. Warriors on the attack. Get the ball to Bennett to May. Get it back to Larkin. Ball screen and roll. Looking to come to May. May holds a spot. Pick and pop. Larkin Look. says, get out of here. <laughs> Let me try Let this me go again. go to work. And does. I'm going to draw the foul. Ball on the floor for us. So that's a, not a terrible foul. So the Warriors will have it out of bounds underneath. Braxton's second foul. See how he needs to adjust, not pick up that third. Looks like it's going to be screen in for the out-of-bounds. Double screen for Larkin. One dribble to his left, three-pointer. No good again. Good box out by yes. another man's. Very nice job. Owen Valaquette comes oh. up with the rebound and then obviously attacks. Again, it's what you just talked about there. We got to freeze Adam. Allow Larkin to play gaps. He's going to get tips on the ball like he just did. They're going to overplay that passing lane, just like we did earlier in the game. Pass fake, hit that back door. Absolutely. So uh, we have Owen Cleanler coming in for Braxton. Braxton has two fouls, so Owen will enter the game for the Cavaliers. Coach calling out some directions here to see if they want Ziaja inside, it looks like now. Against the 2-3 zone, looks like we're running almost like a little 1-3-1 one, one setup. See if we get that ball down a short quarter and get a dive down for Ziaja. Skip pass over to Hunter Manns. Little floater runner. Good. Nice job, Hunter Manns. Good find by Valaquit. Warriors back on the tack. Here comes Larkin with the ball again. Ball screen and roll. Trying to utilize a little mismatch. 
Get the ball back over, finds Bennett on the back Good cut. Tips. Nice job, Owen Klingler. Ziaja comes up, pushes the ball in transition. Looking to try to maybe split. Ooh. Got away with a little drag. Owen gets away, no, sorry, Hunter Mann Hunter did not. not get away with it. Drags the foot, calls travel. Another turnover for the Cavaliers. Winnemac Warrior ball out of bounds. And timeout, Winnemac. Coach Hubler wants to set up something to see what goes on. We'll take it with them. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a simply free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, ladies and uh, gentlemen, we're back here at John R. Nelson. <clears throat> Coach Hugler just takes his own 30-second timeout. Winnemac 20, Culver 18 with 2.20 remaining in the second period. Second quarter, I should say. It's not hockey, right? <laughs> well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Winnemac Warrior basketball. Larkin looks to attack to see what uh, Coach Hugler drew up here. Little screen screen, ball screen action, little top of the key shot. No good again. Trying to find his groove there. Got about a 17-footer there. Nice, plenty of time to square up. Just not feeling it yet tonight. Nice job by Owen Klingler to get the ball again. Hunter Manns drags his foot for the second time in a row. Looks like he wanted to make a pass, and the person back cut on him and drags his foot travel. Needs to shake it off, get his confidence back, and get things going again. Hit a nice little runner floater in the lane, get that confidence going. Looks like same set, down screen, ball screen coming again. Cavaliers switch it this time. Larkin looks to attack, pass inside. Nice back door cut, not there. Nice job by Donovan that time on Larkin. Got a ball screen coming again, good switch. Oh, the Michael lost Jordan it twice. push off there. <laughs> nice find by Larkin, inside layup, good. Nicely done. Number three that time, Trent Fox. Sneaks in on the backside. Larkin finds him for an easy layup. This zone's really spreading out, opening up that middle. There we go. Hit the middle. Inside out. Short corner Get should be a dive here. down. Good. Skip pass over. Nope. Again, about lost it there. Larkin's so quick. And it seems like there's extend and extend. It's the Azure for the three. No good. Maybe a little ill-advised there, a little quick. Larkin on the attack for the Warriors in transition. Little shake and bake. <laughs> Ball screen, here we go. Clears everybody out, says I got this. Sounds like they're trying to spread it out. Nope, not just for Larkin. Oh, they want Larkin in the middle. They attack. Oh, oh got away with the little step it looked like. Powered it up, Fox puts it in. Two points, now the Cavaliers trail by six with 30 seconds left. Little run, I think it was 2018, so a little 4-0 run right now for one Mac. We need an answer here, probably last second shot, see if we can execute a little bit better than the first quarter. A little quick shot, 20 seconds left. Ball hits the top of the backboard, no good by Hunter. Larkin in transition, all the way down, one on five. Shoots with the left hand, nice attack. Gets fouled by Owen, going to the line shooting two. And unfortunately, that's when we talk about execution at the end of the quarter. That's a, a quick shot with 20 seconds left, probably not the best shot you want. Miss it by hitting the top of the backboard and puts them in transition. It looks like right. Coach Hafley looks like he's going to have a little chat with him mm -hmm. about that. First free throws up is good by Larkin. And again, as most people know, when you're struggling from the field, the best way to get probably out of that is get to that free throw line, get some rhythm, hit some free throws, and get yourself back in it. So second shot's going to be on the way. It is up and good. Good substitution by Coach Hugler. Take Mr. Larkin out with two fouls. 13 seconds left. Scoreboard malfunction. <laughs> Larkin did a good job of coming in, and uh, even though not necessarily putting a lot of points on the board, but good job of playing quarterback on the team and distributing, get some assist, taking care of the ball. Absolutely. So 11 seconds left. See if we run our pistol action again, our handoff. Not this time, shallow cut to Ziaja in the corner for three. No good. Balaquet gets away with over the back. One second left. 
Nice hands by Owen. Ends the half at 26-18, Winnemac Warriors. All right, folks, we're going to take a break, listen, uh, take a couple words from our sponsors, and we'll be back here right before the second half kicks off. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh. You want to go there. Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. We're under a minute here before we uh, continue with the second half of the matchup between Winnemac and, and Culver. Winnemac 26, Culver 18. Between games, uh, Coach Barrett, we didn't get it uh, on RTC, but Coach Barrett <clears throat> presented a check to Harold Welter for the uh, Cheryl Welter Foundation uh, by uh, 
was it the girls basketball team or was it just a school-wide effort that was raising money for that foundation? A, a combination of three groups. So we had the uh, National Honor Society work a couple concession stands um, through the athletic department. Um, we had obviously the girls basketball team doing the pie in the face uh, kind of contest to raise some money and then we had Culver Building Trades um, pitch in there and actually presented a check for $1,367.03. Nice. So, so somebody donated three cents to put pie in the face, which is, that might be a little disappointing. Well, I don't know. Right. Well, I, I looked in your bucket and saw a couple 50s <laughs> and I heard that maybe your mother had something to do with that. Yeah, it was kind of funny. We were at the zone volleyball one day and she just hands an envelope and says, you need to get this to Coach Shedro. Didn't say a word about hey, what it's for or anything <laughs> like that. A little ig I need to be in sly, but hey, Merry Christmas, Mom. Right. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, back here at action, a uh, little lull second quarter for us, only scoring six points. Let's see if we can pick it up in the third quarter. Ball goes into Ziaja with Owen Klingler, gets it. Looks like a 1 3 1 for the Warriors. Well, looks like now it's kind of falling almost into a soft 1 3 1 2 3 zone. Well, the backside's wide open. Absolutely finds him, kicks it. Valaquit for three in the corner. Nice. Good. Nice job, Owen Valaquit. Good possession. Good, you know, good pass. Good execution on the shot. Yeah, good start to the second half <laughs> for us. So we're coming back out in our token man to man defense. Looks like it's the UCLA screen. Reversal, probably back screen for Larkin. Nice job. Coming up top, number four is going to be Lynch. Gets it to May. May and Larkin on the court at the same time. Yeah, they didn't start the first half that way, which is kind of surprising. But here we go, Bennett on the attack. Kicks it to Fox. Fox back to Bennett. Bennett for three. Looked like an air ball to me. The touch rim. I don't. I didn't see it change direction at all. <clears throat> so we're looking for a uh, score stop score here. Great way to start the second half if we can convert. Back to 2-3 zone for Winnemac. And I don't know if this is to protect their their kids from foul trouble or just to slow our cutting down. Skip pass over to Klingler. Mm. Going to get blocked by Larkin. Good adjustment by Owen. Ziaja kicks in, oh. drives in. Looks like he got fouled there. No, no call. More. <laughs> no more touch fouls this half, it looks like. Nice attack by Lynch. Oh. Gets it over Larkin. Gets away with the walk. Nice oh. trap by baseline. Back out to Lynch for three. No good. Mm. Rebound. Ziaja. Nice job by the Cavaliers again. Two stops in a row. Nice way to start to have. See if we can execute on offense. Kick out to Hunter Manns. Left hand pass over to Valaquit. Swings it around against the zone. Nice cut inside to Manns. Missed him. Ziaja, deep three. Mm. No good. Looks like we got a loose ball foul. Looks like it's going to go against May. Yep. Good job by Braxton Conley back in the lineup, missing most of the second quarter with two fouls. Right. That's May's third. Very good for us. So entering number 21 is Russell Compton, the sophomore. And he's not going in for May. He's actually going in for Lynch. So Tristan May with a fouls. Foul equip for three, mm, no good. Look good. Nice job, Ziaja crashing the ball. Jump ball. Alternate possession goes to the Warriors, but great job by Donovan Ziaja crashing the boards. First half when uh, Coach Hugler called his spread play, Larkin was in the middle, but not this time. Looks like May. Little UCLA screen for him, scissor action, ball screen. That's his, their spread, okay. Good switch by Braxton. Nice job by Owen Klingler. Same action, but now you get it for Larkin coming off the ball screen. Little hesitation move. Couple drag dribble between the legs. Nice attack, left hand reverse layup by Larkin. That probably won't take him very long to find his rhythm and shot. You, you know, in the first half we had somebody there. Got to make sure we have one person helping, another guy watching. And a third guy ready to help as well. And a third well. guy ready to help. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if they, you know, you're going to make somebody else beat you. cannot let Larkin do that. You make uh, make the Lynch, the, the Bennett, some of those guys step mm -hmm. up and hit outside shots against you. Back in a 2-3 zone. A little lazy pass by Ziaja. Picked off there in transition pass to Larkin. Get away with a little bit of shuffle. Makes a layup. Timeout Cavaliers. Hey, we'll take it with them. This is Culver TV on RTC TV 4. All of Afford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. 
Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report, and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good-as-new inventory. Rates low as we have ever seen, and the best customer service you have ever experienced. All right, we're back at John R. Nelson. Coach Hafley still in his full timeout. 5.08 remaining in the third. Winamax up 30 to 21. Yeah, biggest thing we can't do is obviously allow transition buckets for Winamac. When, uh, when you're struggling to score at times, you definitely want to give up easy shots. And it seems like our last two points for Larkin, runaway layup and then obviously reverse layup, but not, no contact, nobody there. And we got to make sure we're shutting that down here. Looks like the Warriors are coming out in a little 1-2-2, uh, two, two, maybe half court, three quarter court press. A little bit more on the soft side besides aggressive, probably going to be trapped in sideline. Yep, trapped sideline. Nice job by Larkin to read that middle pass. May with the steal, kicks it to Larkin. Larkin for three. Still short. Rebound to Ziaza, run out. Braxton, nice, mm. nice look. Poor execution with the pass, but a very good look by Ziaja. Jalen Keene enters the game for the Cavaliers for Braxton Conley. Looks like uh, Winamax going back to their spread offense. With Larkin back in the middle to do the scissor cuts. Ball screen, probably pick and pop. Pick and pop, here it is. Floats out for three. Good that time. We didn't think it'd take him very long to get there. Nice little screen and pop. We've been switching them. We lost them in the transition there. Back to the one, two, two full court press. Turnover again. Nope, we get it back. Back to Ziaja. Attacks middle of the free throw line. Hesitate. Nice feed to Jalen. Blocked by Bennett. Nice job recovering by Bennett for the Warriors. Blocked out of bounds. Cavalier basketball underneath. Looks like we're struggling a little bit against that one, two, two coach. About yep. Trying to force it in the middle besides getting a, a ball reversal. Ball goes into Hunter Manns, back to Valaquit. Winamac in a 2 3 zone. Ball shifts over to Klingler, down into the corner area to Jalen King. Dribbles up, skip pass over to Ziaja. Ball fake, ball fake, good job. Yep. Valaquit over to Hunter Manns. Attacks, ooh, gets away with a little bit of shuffle again. Good things are not happening, he's putting the ball on the floor. Run out to Larkin, off his knee. Nice job, Owen Valaquin. Way to hustle back and get that tip. Yep. Jalen just needs to learn like he did in the first half. When he takes the ball straight up, good things happen. Put that ball on the floor. Usually leads to a turnover right now. See if we can handle the one, two, two a little bit better. Skip past the weak side, there you go. Reversal to the middle is usually the way. Ball Our fake. Way with a little bit of a well, tries to get his offensive rebound. He goes down. May takes it up the floor against for Winnemac. Attacks. Good take. Ooh, he got away, away with the walk. Over to Compton. Compton misses a three. Valaquette was there. Off of walking out of bounds. Cavalier basketball. Okay, we've had a couple opportunities here. Last couple possessions. Get, chip away at this lead. Now 12-point Warrior lead. So now it looks like they're going back to play their normal 2-3 uh, zone. Reno Zayner coming in the game. Obviously, usually a pretty good outside shot, so maybe he could mm -hmm. find himself in the zone uh, passing the basketball or hitting some open looks. Jalen picks up his dribble, gets it to Hunter Manns on the right side wing. Inside to Jalen. Oh, that would have been a nice dive down to Ziaj in the corner. Good. Nice job. Inside out basketball gets his zone. Usually leads to good things. Warriors hold a nine point lead with uh, about three minutes left in this quarter. Cavaliers back into their man-to-man -man little, again, ball screen and roll. Again, pick and pop. Larkin pick and pop. No good this time. Rebound Jalen. Get some transition push. Nice read by Larkin to see that. Tacks the bucket. Good spin move. Hmm. Got fouled. Going to shoot two. He obviously does a great job reading in that zone, at the top of the zone. He's going to. We're not doing, a, I guess, a fantastic job of freeze dribbling, as you talked about, making him play you first to open up that passing lane, and he does Great. a fantastic job of reading. Good defense there. They uh, they uh, force Larkin to fade away from the basket and on that turn it into a short corner shot. Just got handsy. 
Yeah, I think we definitely would just put a hand up besides smacking down on it. We've been just fine, especially when he's struggling, struggling to shoot that ball and make that ball. You definitely don't want to put him at the free throw line where he's going to get a rhythm. So Larkin up with the second shot is no good. So Warriors have a 10-point lead. See if we can convert to a bucket here. Again, got away with not attacking him. Kick to the corner. Good hands by Bennett. Out of bounds. Sideline. Out of bounds for the Cavaliers. So Winamax in the 2-3 zone again. Skip over to Hunter Manns. Swings it over to Jalen on the side. Back to Hunter Manns down low. Fake to the short corner. Up top. Over to Valaquit. Looks to try to attack off the dribble. Nice job by Winamax. There you go. Good cut by Hunter Manns. Shot. No good. Good crash by Ziaja. Out of bounds off the culver. Winamax basketball. Not bad ball movement there. Pretty good shot. Obviously a good contest by Winamax. Mm -hmm. I think the high hand forced Hunter just to change his shot a little bit at the top. Yep, absolutely. Hopefully <laughs> next time maybe he adjusts and throw a little shot fake in there and go right past him. Looks like a little isolation play for the Warriors. Over to Compton. Back over to Bennett. Swings it over to Larkin. Larkin for three. Nothing but net. Starting to pick up his game a little bit. He's ready to come alive. So Cavaliers find themselves down 13 points here with about a minute and a half left in this quarter. He really needs to get a score here. Nice shot by Valquette attacking. Loses his handle, kicks over to King. King swings at the Mans. Mans attacks double team to Zayner. Zayner skip pass over to Ziaja. Good fake, good ball fake by Donovan. Missed the three. Yep, too bad. Bennett on the tack. Transition defense, a little lackluster there. Kick shot to number two. And I don't know who he came in for. Kasten, Daniel Kasten for three. And that leaves a 15-point lead. Timeout, Cavaliers. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4. This is Cavalier basketball. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. This is the 32nd time Christmas has been hosted in this house. 32 times decorating the tree holiday dinners, memories, all protected by their independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. Just coming out of the Cavalier uh, full time out. <clears throat> Winnemac Warriors jumped up to a 16-point lead there. Larkin's starting to heat up. And uh, who was it, Kasten, you said, that hit yeah. that three for Winnemac. And, and Culver uh, getting some good ball movement, just having a hard time getting the ball in the basket. Yeah, and then unfortunately that's leading to easier transition buckets for Winnemac. And I think that's what Coach Hayfley's talking about in his timeout is, you know, we're getting some good looks, but it, uh, we're not crashing the board extremely hard. We're putting four back, and we're still not stopping the ball. So obviously uh, – he preaches defense pretty hard, and to give up two easy looks that way, uh, imagine he's pretty disappointed with that transition in the last couple possessions for us. Looks like it's almost, a, again, 2-3 zone mixing with a 2-1-2 setup. Good shot, or good ball fake, shot fake. Reno gets the rebound up, puts it oh, up, and good. Oh, makes it in. Nice job, Reno Zayner. Offensive rebound put back. And that foul goes against Kasten. And we'll send Reno to the line to shoot one. Hunter Mann's back in the game for Donovan Ziaja. Obviously, we got to look to uh, hopefully Reno converts and does not. And we got to make sure we try to get a stop here to keep the keep the bleeding at 14 points in the quarter. Looks like Winnemac will pull for one shot. See, uh, see what they run. Obviously, they'll probably run something for Larkin, I would imagine. Coming out of a box set. Looks like a little 
A little isolation. Nope, coming off the uh, double here. Nope, nope, up the gut. Yep, cross screen going up the gut. The old shooter's play. Not a terrible foul. You want to get two fouls right now at this time. And six seconds left and see what they do here. Uh-oh, Mis miscommunication on the switch. Larkin open three. Got lucky there, no good. Bennett with the throw up and misses. So the end of the third quarter, Winnemac 40, Culver 26. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4, Culver Basketball. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. All right, folks, we're back. Ready for the fourth quarter to begin. Winnemac still sporting a 14-point lead here. The Cavalier basketball out of bounds. Obviously, this is the quarter we're going to have to have a lot of scores, stop scores, if we want to get back in this basketball game. Again, Larkin kind of playing the foot fake game up top, and we're kind of not freeze dribble attack on the gaps yet. Picks up drill, hits Reno in the middle, tries to go up. Probably should have not hesitated to take it up right away. Steal Winamac, transition basketball to Compton down low. Kicks it over to Fox. Fox missed, Compton rebound. Kick out to Kasson. Kasson attacks with his right hand. Nice job, miss. Bennett, offensive rebound again. Kicks it out to Compton. Compton another three, no good. Ziaja rebound. Mm. King, nice job running the floor. Ziaja misses him. Behind the back dribble to Valaquet. When Mac gets able back in their zone, short corner to Zayner. Oof, Larkin almost stole that. Nice job, pass the mm. cut again, put that ball on the floor. Got away with it that time. And that's a tough one. I think Owen put a pass in a spot that he probably can't catch and do something with it just as well. So not all Jalen on that one. Nope. Out of bounds, good no look pass to Hunter Manns. Corner three, no good. Jalen almost got the offensive rebound, tips the Valaquet. Ziaja for three. No good. Offensive rebound, Hunter Manns powers it up. No good again. Three good looks. Compton on the tack, transition wise. Travels. Made the call. So May comes back in the game for the Warriors. Looks like Lynch is coming back in just as well for the Warriors. And then obviously Compton coming out. Okay, so need to get a score here. Same spot, spot minute 15 in. Hunter Mans walks up the ball. Looks like we're doing a little loop cut action over to King. Shot fake by Ziaja, gets it back over to Valaquet, swings it over to Hunter Mans in the corner. Hunter Mans shoots a three. Good this time. Nice job. Good ball movement. Kevin there's down by 11. Winnemac basketball again. Back to that game of store, score, stop, score. Ball screen for Larkin. Goes away. Nice push out. Looks like they're saying Owen had too much hands on Larkin when he was driving. He's got some to spare. It's his first. Looks like it's going to be timeout, Winnemac. Timeout, Winnemac. 30 seconds. Timeout. Right, you're watching Culver TV on RTC TV4. Cavalier basketball. 
Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me. Now we're back, ladies and gentlemen. The producer getting trigger happy there. And speaking of trigger, Winamac triggers the ball <laughs> inbounds. <laughs> Looks like they got a set play coming up. Fake ball screen, flare screen for Larkin. Comes off of it, attacks. Little hesitation move on Valaquet. Blows past him. Oh, oh, not a travel there. You can throw it up. New okay, rules. So that's New Bugs, rules to the game. Bugs Bunny rules. <laughs> yeah. You can pass it Hey, to pass yourself. it yourself, throw it up, catch it. <laughs> There had to be somebody. There's no way, though. No. Yeah, so Larkin Obviously gets away with the one. Calling contact there is what they must have seen. I don't know. Nice move by May. Yeah. Gets a little contact. No call. Contact again. No call. Offensive rebound again from Bennett. Up on Ziaja. Good. We were preaching it so long. You cannot continue to give up three offensive rebounds. Got to finish the possession with the rebound. Of course, Coach Hugler is on the other side saying all that contact in the first half. <laughs> we You're call right. them, and there's nothing in the second half. Turnover for oh. Jalen Keene again. Larkin spin move. No good. Rebound, Mans. Getting pressured in the full court. Oh. Got away with the, maybe a carry. Devaliquet for a three. We are triggering ah. now. Over the back on Reno. Nice box out by uh, Fox for Winnemac. So it'll be Winamac ball out of bounds with a 13-point lead, five minutes to go. Culver is picking up full court press, a little man-to-man. -man. Inbound right back to Lynch. Get it over to Larkin, clear out. Looks like they're running their spread again, scissor cut action. Back screen, double screen come up for Larkin. Larkin off the double screen, pulls the trigger. In and out, no good. May, offensive rebound again. I bet you that's at least seven in the last probably two minutes. A lot of action going on. <laughs> and it looks like they're going to be calling a foul. Hunter Manns, I believe, oh, picks up his fourth. Looks like Braxton Conley is going to be coming back in the game for Jalen King. Fox is uh, inbound in it, as it is, pick the picker as coach was calling it out. Get it into Bennett, Bennett up and under move, throws it up. Oh, oh actually, that was, I thought that was pretty good D Pretty there, good coach. D that time. No, not much contact on that one, and obviously uh, calls the foul and one for Bennett. So Braxton Conley picks up his third foul, and it sends Bennett to the free throw line to do the old fashioned three point lane. And another offensive rebound put back and in. So again, probably about the eighth one, timeout Culver Cavaliers. You're watching Culver TV on RTT, RTC TV for Cavalier basketball. Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first-time homebuyers. And with our premier first-time homebuyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. Coach Hayfley wanted to call a timeout there and make a point, I do believe. I think he was upset about the um, upset about the uh, lack of boxing out there or effort, not quite sure, but certainly upset. Yeah, absolutely, and I, I'd be upset too. I would be too. Give it up eight offensive rebounds in yep. the last two minutes, I'd be upset. And obviously all he was talking about the boys was compete. We want you mm -hmm. to fight through this, compete. 
And obviously nothing wrong with that, not being belligerent, not calling anybody out individually, <laughs> just Absolutely simply compete. Not. Showing frustration. Absolutely. Turnover again by the Cavaliers up to May. May attacks. Foul on Hunter Manns. I believe that might be his fifth. It is. So again, come off the timeout with the turnover, lead into transition for the Winnemac Warriors. So Hunter Manns exits the game. Jalen King comes in for him. May to the line shooting two. And he converts the first one. And then obviously converts the second one. Lead up to 19 points, Cavalier basketball. One Max staying in the 2-3 zone, extending it out. Mm. Anticipating passes to the side and second turnover in a row. So Winnemac Warrior basketball on the side. And I would imagine Winnemac will just kind of go in that spread, scissor cut offense. Attack by Larkin, Larkin nice left hand miss. Rebound to Reno, Reno gets it to Ziaja, looking to attack in transition. And third one in a row. Obviously I think we've uh, lost composure a little bit. And obviously it looks like Richard's probably gonna be coming in for Donovan. So it'll be Winamac Warrior basketball on the side. Gets it into Lynch. Lynch looks like we're going against a spread offense a little bit. Sure, Winamac uh, able to burn some time off the clock, so they're going to be in no rush. Looks like they're running their flex offense to do so. Mm, may shoot to three. No good. Rebound goes to Fox. Another offensive rebound. Good hustle by Valaquet. Pressure in Larkin. Larkin does the old hesitate move. Smart enough to know, hey, let's burn some clock here. Does have a quick first step. Yeah, he has a fantastic footwork, that is for sure. Going back to the uh, scissor flare screen attack. Nice hesitation, great pass, nice good look. Nice drop off, yep. Nice look, good dump down, good finish. Foul on uh, Reno Zaner. Looks like uh, the officials are getting a little... Uh, <laughs> A little testy with uh, Coach Hugo a little bit. I know they really? called the foul, and uh, he's a little disappointed. So mm. I don't know don't know what's going on there. That was off my radar. So obviously the end one happens there for uh, for number 22, May. Shot by Jalen. Jalen passes the ball to Richard. Richard gets it back to Jalen. Jalen jump shot in the corner. Good. Nice job, Jalen. Good ball movement there. So 20 point lead, two and a half minutes to go. Winamax spreading the floor, push off there, yep, absolutely. Bennett pushed off to try to get the ball. Winamax foul on five, Carson Bennett. Yes, sir. Which leads to a timeout, timeout Winamac. Winamac. Watching Culver TV on RTC TV for Cavalier Basketball. Hi, I'm John Oliver with a few reasons why your next pre-owned vehicle should be from Oliver Ford Lincoln. Imagine a 172-point certification along with a 44-point safety inspection. We even get you a vehicle history report. It's for your peace of mind because we treat our customers like family. You even get free car washes for life. So get more for your money and more for your trade with certified pre-owned at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Enjoy full-screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. 
All right, folks, uh, we're back. 229 left. Winnemac with a 20 point lead, which was once, I believe, in the third, early in the third quarter, a five point lead and has escalated uh, to a 20 point lead. Yeah, so now we got two and a half minutes left. You want to finish the game off well, try to get some good possessions and get some good looks to, to build on something for obviously on Saturday's game when we're going to get some Morgan Township. So looking for some positives here. Again, quick, quick look in the middle. Nice shot by May to anticipate. Powers it up and good. Again, we have had a, a lot of turnovers this half. We've had to have obviously a lot of offensive rebounds going on. Uh, two things that we can't do if we want to uh, keep a game competitive. So again, Winnemac standing in that 2-3 zone anticipating. Ball goes to Richard, back to Jalen in the middle. Nice job, Jalen attacking and one. Good job there. Yep. Again, and then, you know, we talked about it in the first half. We think that's where the opening was, right in the middle, get in the middle yes. and start attacking. And nice job of finding it. it looks like uh, Winnemac's going to do maybe a wholesale sub here. Bennett goes out, Larkin goes out. Hey, and, you know, we want, we want Jalen attacking the basket when he gets uh, squared up, gets his body squared up and faces the basket and sees what he's, you know, can see what he's facing as opposed to catching with your back to the basket, automatically putting that ball on the ground. Absolutely. That's where he struggles. Absolutely. And, and, and you know, that, that's the hardest piece is we're doing, you know, a pass and cut offense, which is absolutely right. fine, but sometimes our offensive passer can't put that ball in a spot where Jalen won't be successful, and Correct. sometimes you do, and it jams them up, and it's hard. So that time there he was able to face an attack, which is good, and converted the three-point play. So Compton dribbles it up for Winnemac Warriors, looking to spread the floor a little bit again. Gets the ball to May, attacks on Balaquet. Ball screen for him, gets around Conley, little finger roll, good. Again, I, and, and I know probably Coach Haithley is going to be frustrated with it because he, he does a great job of preaching defense and keeping team defense, but we've kind of lost our composure on the defensive end just as well tonight. Ball goes to Conley, gets it over to Richard. Richard has it in the middle. Gets the ball to Valaquit, swings it there, over to Jay Lynn. Looks at attack, shuffles it over to Reno. Good flash, by, good Euro step, block. Braxton, nice job hustling. Picks up a foul, good job by Braxton Conley. Yep, good hustle, good job of tracking the ball. So it'll be Cavalier basketball underneath. Looks like uh, Jalen Keene's gonna trigger. From out of bounds, looks like we're running our four high scissor cut against the two three zone. Where we dive and go. Jalen throws in to Owen, Owen swings over to Richard, Richard back over to Jalen, Jalen fakes the three, looks to attack, gets to Reno short corner, Reno shot, partially blocked, out of bounds and we'll see if it should stay here. And it does. Good idea, just a little slow with his, with his shot. Looks like Culver's going to try to draw up a play here with the timeout with 55 seconds left. We'll take a break with them. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV for Cavalier Basketball. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back after that 30-second timeout called by Coach Hafley. 21-point <clears throat> deficit here. Looks like Winnemac went back to man-to-man. -man. Nice little cut by Braxton Conley. Up mm. left hand, no good. Comes down. Gets away with a frustration <laughs> foul. Absolutely. It looks like Winnemac is trying to go slow it down. We'll see if they, uh, yeah, looks like they're going to try to get a shot here. Run a set. Obviously some JV kids or some bench players trying to get some good time. Nice attack by number 20. Try to go back into him and looks like we tipped it. Jalen was being nice there. I don't know if you saw Jalen there. He was trying to tell the official. Yep, I tipped it. I put it out of bounds. <laughs> so it'll be Winnemac basketball underneath. Ball inbounds. Pop out the corner. Shooter going to go to the corner. Screen the inbounder. I have 25 seconds left, and we'll see if uh, Winnemac will be kind enough just to hold it. Balaquet, some pressure. Didn't like the elbow to the head.
Cavalier foul number three, Owen Valaquette. And that will put, obviously, the Warriors at the free throw line where Compton's going to go there. To the line to shoot the bonus, number 21, Russell Compton. So Compton shooting one and one. Hits the first. I believe that's what you said. So this will be Winnemac, I believe, first win of the season. Obviously, first win in the conference just as well. Which I believe will make them one and one in conference. I think they lost to LaVille, if I remember correctly. I think they have Triton coming up and as Triton well. Triton coming up. Ball gets in the Valaquit, gets to Richard. Richard, Richard takes it up. Uh, shoot that ball, Richard. Nice job attacking, picks up the foul. Be a non shooting foul, so Richard will take the ball out of bounds. Looks like the same pick the picker set up. Richard gets it in, turns it over. Winamac basketball, seven seconds left. And it looks like they will dribble it out and leave the final score. Winamac Warriors, 57, Culver Cavaliers, 34. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, look at the uh, RTC website or your RTC uh, TV4 app and see what's going to be available, whether it's here at Culver or the surrounding sister schools that host RTC TV. For Colton Miller and Mr. Brett Barrett, I'm Chris Stevens. Have a good night.